Hi folks, Jay Bull here. Today I'm going to show you how to paint this bowl right here. It's going to end up looking something like this bowl. We're working indoors in my studio down under. It's a bit cold outside right now. Winter sitting in. Can't work in the outside studio any longer. It's about 28 degrees outside right now. I'm going to take this bull and I'm going to paint it a gradient. A rose red to the top, purple in the bottom. And that would be purple and rose red. I'm going to put this on the potter's wheel on my Giffen grip. And I'm going to spin it and paint it all at the same time. Okay, we're going to lock this down to the Giffen grip. Center it up as best as possible. That's pretty well locked in there. We're going to take the rose red and do the top and the plum purple and do the bottom. We'll start with the rose red. Spin the wheel, add the rose red. Water. Straight into the plum purple, in the bottom. Back up to the rose red. Need about three coats. Blend these two together as best as possible. Okay, when it dries, it'll look totally different than it looks right now, but generally, this is what you're after. Rose to plum purple. Okay, we're back at the table with the banding wheel. To clean up this rim a little bit, use a sponge with some water. And anywhere where it's just a bit overlaid over the rim, I'll wipe that off. So a nice clean looking rim when this is all said and done. I have no plans on glazing the outside of the bowl. I'm going to open my black. And this is velvet underglaze. A bit of water on the brush. Into the black glaze. Center the bowl on the banding wheel. And I'm going to put a center into this bowl. Now, 
Let me try to raise this up and zoom this in so you can see what's going on. Okay. And we'll paint the center in this bulb. I'm going to make a little spiral effect to give the tree something to grow on. And it doesn't have to be anything real fancy. Something like that is fine. I'm going to take a brush similar to this, which is a Chinese brush. I'm going to use my black. Pretty much just use the tip of the brush. Into the black underglaze. And I'm going to create some pine trees. First, I'm going to create the stalk of the tree. And I'll add the foliage. When you add the foliage, it's not big and bulky. A pine tree is airy and has a lot of light shining through it, and that's what you're trying to accomplish. The top of the tree is a very fine point. So you want to just gradually work your way out on the tree. And work your way down at the same time. Adding foliage and broadening the base of the tree down to your spiral so that you have something that looks like that. And multiple trees grow together, usually. So we'll do multiple tree stock, some more foliage, remembering to let some air in there and not completely overpower the tree and it's just a tap and move type brush stroke there are no definite strokes no real lines painting is an illusion it's not a coherent painting of what you see there are types of paintings that are like that, but this style is pretty much just an illusion. And another tree right here. And work our way around the inside of the bowl. Taller and shorter. Not all the same length. Definition by height. When you look at a forest growing, all the trees are not the same height. They're all different heights, they're different shapes. You can see a lot of light through the, the tree system. And that's what you're trying to accomplish here. You don't want to black out everything. Keep working your way around. And some of the noises you hear in the background, one is I have an electric space heater running. It's a bit chilly here. And the other is the main furnace for the entire building is running also periodically. 
which you can hear. said winter setting in it's starting to get a bit chilly and we get some heat going and without that it would be pretty much unbearably cold so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a sun or a moon into this painting and we will use a lighter color than the base. And I just happen to have this um, gold color sitting here. And I believe I could use this for my sun or moon. Now, you don't want to get this too intense. So you want to mix it up like a watercolor. This is what we're going to use. I'm going to take a, a flat square brush, some water to unstiffen the room, load the brush, brush it out a little bit, pick a spot, and we'll say right here is a good place for the moon. the sun and this is kind of a dark scene so I'm going to say that this is the moon okay we'll give the moon something similar to that effect and we're going to let that dry a bit Put a second coat in there. I'll try to get that fairly round. I'll take the heat gun and dry this real quick so it doesn't run. that is still partially wet I had a second color to that and I have a light blue going here I'll add just a little bit of light blue to give that moon the appearance of being round and we're going to lay this on one side of this moon Kind of blend that together. The heat kind of dry that a little bit. And start looking more pasta and chalky. And that's what the moon or the sun looks like. I'm going to add a few birds to the scene. The birds are not flat. They're not two-dimensional. We don't make birds like comic books. Birds aren't shaped like that. That is not a bird shape. Okay? Birds have 
tail feathers, bodies, and heads of the neck, and then their wings. So birds are three-dimensional. They're not two-dimensional. And that's hard to see on the wood because the, the water just bleeds all over the place. But to put a bird in here, if you can see these birds, they're three-dimensional. And just the tip of your brush. Okay, and we're going to add the bird's wing. The other part is the wing. That's one wing and two wings. And then we'll give the bird a little bit of structure. Okay, that is more of a bird shape than this McDonald's Arches birds. Those are the birds I'm talking about, not your McDonald's arches. And we can add a few more birds in here. So there you have it. One dot in the very center to help balance this. And this is what we're after. Something similar to this. Now you can go back in here and do some more details. And add some shrubbery, some trees, some grasses. I think right here. We'll add a tree. A gnarly little tree. some grasses and the grasses are nothing merely more than some little sticks on the brush nothing special there's no detail because it's an illusion it is not a defined painting And that looks pretty good to me. This is what we've done. Thanks, folks. I hope that helps you out a little bit. Jay Bull from Pine Creek Pottery. I'll try to get back in this screen here.
signing off. This is what we've accomplished today. Pine Creek Pottery. Thank you.